Versace is the last of Dio's sons we see in part 6 and is without a question the best. Well if you don't count a certain gang star. Versace is a flawed character and might be the most underrated character in JoJo. When we first meet Versace he's talking with Poochie in a very civil manner, but oh boy was that a lie, because frankly, Versace is an asshole. Versace holds a grudge against the world and society in general, much like his father Dio Brando, Versace also has Dio's personality traits such as selfishness and ruthlessness, him being an asshole all originates to his past, when he was a child, he ran away from home at age 13, a pair of baseball shoes fell from the sky and onto his head. He put them on, but was soon arrested and taken to court, the shoes belonged to real-life Seattle Mariners outfielder, Ichiro and were originally to be given to disabled children as a gift, the judge flew into a rage, disgusted by the fact that a 13-year-old boy would stoop so low as to steal from children less fortunate than himself. Versace was quickly deemed guilty on circumstantial evidence of stealing the shoes and was sent to a juvenile detention facility for six months he was wrongfully admitted, from this day onwards a string of unfortunate events would linger towards Versace, all of this happened because of his underdeveloped stand, under world, and just like that, Versace's life was ruined because of his own stand, because of all of the horrible things that happened to Versace, he became selfish and ruthless, much like his father Dio Brando, the backstory of Versace is based around a book called Holes, in it, Stanley has the same series of unfortunate events as Versace, everything that was happening to Stanley was happening because of one of his ancestors, this relates to Versace perfectly as his family is the Brando family, Versace wants to be happy more than anyone else in this world, he's so determined to do this that he considers achieving heaven just to be happy, Versace is also a part of the few characters who want to achieve heaven in Jojo, Dio, and Pucci want to achieve heaven, and so does Versace. Versace also has an amazing stand, underworld, and an amazing arc that might be one of the best fights in Jojo. Versace is done really well up until his death, which is rushed and anticlimactic. When I think of Chiorno he represents Jonathan, and when I think of Versace he represents Dio. Let's look at the philosophy of Jaline as Versace. Jaline is the replacement for Joe Taro. She is a symbol of courage and righteousness, while Versace is the total opposite. He is the replacement for Dio. He is a symbol of ruthlessness and evil. In the end when Jaline won the battle versus Versace by surviving, I think Araki is indirectly saying that Joe Taro beat Dio again, just a little philosophy lesson and some food for thought. Nevertheless, Versace and Dio's sons are one of the best parts of JoJo Part 6 Stone Ocean, and I really think people should start appreciating Versace as a character. Well that's it for me. If you liked this video then sub for more JoJo. Till then peace.